Hi, my name is Amira, and I live in Pakistan with my big joint family. Please like and subscribe. My grandmother was the richest woman in the entire city and owned more than half of it. And both my mom and my aunt always stayed close to grandma, serving her and praising her, thinking she'd give them all her money. But soon after me and my cousin Hina were born, grandma announced she was going to give all her assets to the most deserving granddaughter. Crazy, right? My family went completely nuts at the news, and this started a never-ending competition between my mom and my aunt. Come on, sweetie. You can read this. One, two, three, four. Say it. A goo goo. Ugh, not a goo goo. One, two, three. Yep, mom would teach me how to read and write when I was just one, so grandma would think I'm a genius and pick me as her heir. But my aunt was doing no less. She started teaching Hina how to dance when she was just two. Come on, you can pick up the beat. What are you doing? Teaching her to dance. But she can't even walk properly. For God's sake, leave the kids alone. Grandma would try to keep us safe from mom's and aunt's experiments, and despite their crazy competitiveness, Hina and I would play together all day long and loved each other to bits. Then once, when I was eight years old, mom put me into swimming classes to make me strong and graceful, but then something unpredictable happened. Soon after I got into the water, all of my body started to itch like crazy. And within minutes, it was covered with rashes and hives. Mommy, it's burning. Suddenly, all of the other kids started screaming. Oh, God, it's a water demon. Get out of here. Mom came rushing to me and got me out of the water. Then she immediately took me to the hospital, where the doctors ran several tests on me and declared, Your daughter has aquagenic urticaria. That means she's allergic to water. It's a rare condition, and there's no cure for it yet. But there are precautions. What? Water allergy? Is that even a real thing? Now what's next? Air allergy too? And she can't breathe? Mom went ballistic on the doctors and started smashing anything she could get her hands on. She was scary. And I was all freaked out. What was going to happen to me? I ran to her and hugged her. Mommy, please calm down. But she wouldn't accept the fact that her only hope of becoming a billionaire was flawed now. We can't let anyone know about this, especially Hina and your witch aunt. Don't ever go near her again. But mom, she's like my sister. We play together every day. Yeah, but not anymore. What if they discover your secret? I can't risk it. Mom sounded crazy and made me promise not to tell a single soul. Later when we reached home, Hina came running to me, but mom pulled me away and scolded her. Don't come any closer to my daughter. Stay away from her. Suddenly, Hina had tears in her eyes, but mom just pulled me into my room. She was being so awful. Later at night, I sneaked into Hina's room through the window, but she pushed me away saying, Go away, Amira. You and your mom are horrible, and my mom told me to stay away from you too. What? No. I tried to explain to her, but she shut me out completely and didn't talk to me ever again. And over time, she turned into a completely different person. At school, she'd pick on the other kids and compete with me in every single thing, all because of grandma's money. Once in the sixth grade, there was a musical competition and both me and Hina were participating, but she ran onto the stage during my performance and pushed me aside. Hey, loser. What, are you trying to make us sleep? Get out of here and watch this. She grabbed the guitar and almost burst all of our ears. Of course, I won the competition and she came in last. But when I reached home with my trophy, I saw my sitar was trashed. Why are you doing this? Have you gone crazy? This one win means nothing, Amira. I'll never let you win again. My grandma's money is mine. This was it. This madness had to stop. I didn't want any money after losing the people I loved. I went straight to grandma and told her, This has to stop, grandma. I don't want any money. Oh, sweetie, it's just a healthy competition. I'm sure by the time you're grown-ups, you'll be the best versions of yourselves. Well, years passed by, but that never happened. In fact, the competition between us grew even crazier. But thanks to my meds, my allergies stayed in check. Otherwise, Hina would have made my life miserable. One day in the eighth grade, I was walking into my drawing class when I accidentally slipped and all the paints in my hand landed on Hina's clothes. 
OMG, how dare you? This is a white cashmere coat. I'm so sorry. I was just... But before I could finish, she grabbed a jar of water and threw it right into my face. Oh my god. I pushed her aside to run to the bathroom, but she just fell into the mud our teacher had kept for pottery classes, and everyone burst out laughing. You are so dead, moron. I started running towards the washroom, and she came after me. As soon as I got in, I locked the washroom from the inside and immediately took out my medicine from my pocket and gulped it down. But still, it was too late. I had red hives all over my face. Suddenly, I heard a guy's voice. Whoa, that's a first. I freaked out and let out a scream when he held my hand and hushed me. Easy. I should be the one screaming. What are you even doing here? What am I doing here? What are you doing in the girls' room? But he just looked at me with a weird expression. And that's when it hit me. I entered the boys' washroom in a rush. And suddenly, I realized that this guy won't stop staring at my face. Yeah, I know. I'm a freak. You can stop staring now. What? No. I'm just thinking. That must hurt a lot. Wow, no one ever put it that way. Normally, people would freak out and scream, but he looked at me so calmly. I told him how I was trying to save my butt from my evil cousin's sister, Hina. So he safely let me out through the windows and I ran back home. But I knew Hina wasn't going to let me off that easy. Up next, we had a big sports fest coming in the school and everyone was practicing in the field, including Hina. When she saw me coming, she ganged up on me with her minions. Oh, look. Here comes the witch, who vanished into the boys' washroom yesterday. How did you do it? Did you flush yourself out, Harry Potter? (laughs) Get away from me, Hina, if you don't want to get hurt. I pushed her aside and went ahead with my practice. But later when we were playing, I was about to take the winning shot when someone pushed me hard and I fell to the ground. You witch, you pushed me on purpose. Well, duh. Of course I pushed you on purpose. So you get your lesson, moron. And you better watch out, because it might be a car next time you fall in front of. Saying that, she went away, but I was trembling with pain. Suddenly, a guy came forward and picked me up in his arms, and I was super shocked to see it was the same guy who saved me the other day. He took me to the nurse's room, and I thanked him for everything. Turns out, his name was Ryan, and he was a math genius. He even invited me for a movie later that evening. This was gonna be awesome! After that, Ryan and I started hanging out together in school, and soon we became the bestest of friends. But the news reached Tina, and she went all bonkers on me. So, you're going to compete for me with everything now, even the guy I like? What? What are you talking about? Get off me! Oh, don't act all innocent. Do you think I don't know you're eyeing Ryan for his money? What the heck is she talking about? I pushed her aside and told her off. You are crazy! Rayon is my friend, and I didn't even know he was rich. I don't care about money. Oh, then how about you tell Grandma you don't want any of it right now? Ugh, she was insane. I pushed her out of my room and slammed the door shut. But what I saw at school the next day shocked me to my bones. Hina was on her knees with a bouquet in her hand, proposing to Rayon. What? But Rayon turned her down in front of everyone. I'm so sorry, Hina, but I'm not interested in you. And before he could even finish, Hina threw the bouquet at his face and then pushed me aside saying, I'm never gonna let you win, Amira. Never. God, she was growing crazier by the day. Later that night, as I was peacefully sleeping, I heard a knock on my window. When I went ahead and opened it, I was shocked to see Rayan there. Rayan, what are you doing here? You called for me, remember? You sent me this message? He showed me a message. Rayon, please come and save me. My parents are going to marry me off to an old man. That was sent for my number, but I never texted him that. Suddenly, I heard a loud crash and the door of my room blew open and all of my family was standing there. Oh my God, a boy in your room? This is an unforgivable sin. You have ruined the honor of the entire family, you ungrateful brat. How are we going to get into heaven now? Auntie, what are you saying? I didn't... Yeah, Mom. And I even heard at school that Amira is pregnant. Enough. No one says a word anymore. Everyone, out of this room now, including you, boy. Grandma looked super furious, and even Mom glared at me angrily. And soon after everyone left, I burst into tears and my allergy came back. 
I was looking for my medicine all over when suddenly Hina barged into my room again. How was the payback, jerk? I told you, you could never be happy after taking away what's mine. But then she looked at my face and went all crazy. OMG, what's that on your face? You look like a monster. Just as I reached out for my allergy medicine on the table, she leapt forward first and grabbed it. Oh, so you're an allergy monster. Wow, and no one knows about it? <laughs> now you wait and watch how I'm going to take everything that's mine, Amira. You're going to beg me to hide this. OMG, I was scared about everyone finding out, but I wasn't going to let Hina bully me for who I was. I grabbed the medicine from her and I slapped her hard in the face. You're such a shallow person, Hina. You've just been stooping lower and lower for money. And you know what? I'm going to tell everyone about my condition before you do, and then you can have all your money and everything you want. But you won't be able to change one fact, that you're a pathetic loser. I stormed out of the room to go and tell my grandma about my condition, but I was shocked to see her standing right outside the door. And before I could even say anything, she hugged me. Oh, my child, I'm so sorry you had to live like that amongst your own family because of my stupid plans. I thought they'd compete and work harder to be better people, but instead their greed turned them into animals and you had to suffer because of that. Please forgive me, my baby. But Hina went ballistic. <sighs> Whatever, Granny. And then she grabbed a jar of water and came charging towards me. There's no way I'm going to let you get any of this, witch. I'm going to kill you. Thankfully, Grandma stopped her in time and asked her to leave the house. And Mom jumped right in. Yeah, throw her and her mom out of the house. They are pure evil. And so are you, Mom. What? What do you mean? We were never like this, Mom. Hina and I were like real sisters, but you guys, your greed turned us on each other. If anyone should leave this house, it's you greedy people. Amira is right. You all are to leave this house. And the only one who's going to stay with me is my granddaughter, Amira. She deserves all my money. And we hugged.